Welcome back. We're continuing the news and we continue our coverage of the closing of the budget debate. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark disclosed that the government will be reviewing the stamp duty regime on imported raw foods. He also defended the policies of the government while taking a jab at the parliamentary opposition. Andrea Chisholm reports. There's concern that the removal of GCT on imported raw food items, including fruits and vegetables, will negatively affect local farmers. Opposition leader Mark Golding had dismissed arguments from the finance minister that based on international trade rules, Jamaica would be blacklisted if the GCT was not removed. Mr. Golding said, based on the opposition's research, the World Trade Organization WTO does not unilaterally punish member states for non-compliance. In response, Dr. Nigel Clark said WTO representatives were in Jamaica in November 2023 and pointed out the GCT breach. The opposition leader asks, whose bidding am I doing? My speaking is out of order. I am upholding the rule of law and having Jamaica honor our international, legal, binding obligation. Still, additional measures are being reviewed to help protect Jamaican farmers. The government of Jamaica is committed to quickly reviewing the additional stamp duty regime, including for raw foods, with a view of making the necessary adjustments in consultation with stakeholders. A working group will be established to include the ministries of Agriculture and Investment as well as Jamaica Customs. Now, Mr. Golding also suggested the government use money set aside for the reverse income tax credit to fund a bigger increase in the income tax threshold. The $20,000 tax refund will be given to Jamaicans who make $3 million or less and the income tax threshold will move from $1.5 Five to $1.7 million. When you increase income tax threshold, everyone above the threshold benefits. Those making 10 million, those making 20 million, those making 30 million. So the effect of Mr. of the opposition leader's suggestion would be to take away the $20,000 reverse income tax credit from the hundreds of thousands of minimum wage earners and those just above who are among the 570,000 and give it to the 70,000 Jamaicans earning above 3 million. Madam Speaker, that is a red card. That is an approach, Madam Speaker, that we call champagne socialists. And that is what you get, Madam Speaker, from an unprincipled, cynical, flip-flop approach to policymaking. Dr. Clark also blasted the opposition leader for not stating how he would fund the increase in the income tax threshold to $3 million. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.